Another important exception to Lewis theory involves odd electron species. Certain molecules and ions, which are called free radicals, have an odd number of valence electrons when represented as Lewis structures. Take nitrogen monoxide, for instance. The first step in drawing the Lewis structure of any molecule or ion is to count up the total number of valence electrons. In doing so for nitrogen monoxide, we're immediately faced with a dilemma. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, oxygen has six. If you add them up, you'll get 11 valence electrons. And in order to obey the octet rule, both of the atoms should have eight electrons surrounding them. Needless to say, for nitrogen monoxide, this is impossible due to the uh, total number of electrons being 11. If you attempt to draw the Lewis structure for nitrogen monoxide anyway, you'll end up with a structure that looks like this. Uh, notice that there's simply no way to get around the odd electron. We have to put it somewhere. And on this structure, it's on the nitrogen. Other than the fact that there's an odd number of electrons, this is a pretty good Lewis structure. What do I mean by that? Well, the oxygen has an octet. Um, more electrons are placed on the more electronegative atom, which is the oxygen, so that's another good thing about this structure. And furthermore, uh, both of these atoms have a zero formal charge. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the whole point of this video was just to bring your attention that there do exist uh, covalently bonded species out there that do have an odd number of electrons. Um, there aren't very many of them uh, compared to the ones that have even electrons and the ones that obey the octet rule, but uh, there are enough of them that it's worth talking about. And uh, generally, uh, they tend to be pretty unstable and pretty reactive. So there you go. There's all electron species.